Hi, this is Aaron at ThinkAboutLabs.com and welcome back. Now that we have our zombie animation set up, let's start coding the zombie controller so we can bring it to life. Okay, in our scripts, let's right click and create a new script. Let's call this a zombie controller. Let that finish compiling. Let's grab the script. Let's drag it on top of the zombie. Now let's go ahead and open up that script. All right, let's format this, control A, K, F. All right, so for our zombie controller, what do we need? We need to give the zombie some health, so a public float health. Let's go ahead and set that health to 100. And we need the zombie to have a target, so public transform target. So the way we're going to wire up the zombie controller is that we're going to set up an attack distance. We need a particular distance to engage our target with, and then inside of that distance we need to be able to attack, and then inside of the attack dis distance when we come in contact or within a certain distance from that, then we'll start you know, chomping at our target. So let's set up some distances with the public float engage distance. Let's set that to 10 and then let's set up a attack distance so a public float and these are publics right now so we can adjust them in the inspector so a public float attack distance and let's set that to three let's give our zombie some speed so public float speed now let's change that to move speed and let's set that to five. And one more, let's set up a, and just like we did with the robot controller, we're going to have a Boolean to see if our zombie is facing left or right. So this one is gonna be a private bull facing left. And we're gonna set that to true. We're gonna set this to true um, by default because right now our zombie is facing left. We're just going to check if he needs to be facing left or be facing right. So in our update, we're going to do everything in update because we're not messing with any um, physics, no rigid bodies. So update is where we want to be at. So like I said, we're going to work on our distances for attacking. To do that, we're going to say if the vector 3 dot distance and that distance is between point A and point B, and that point A is going to be target position. And the point B is going to be this dot transform dot position. And if our distance is less than the engage distance, then, then this is where we're going to have all of our movements. We're going to have all of our attacks. So if we're within the engage distance, this is where we're going to um, engage that target. We're going to say else if the vector three dot distance target position this dot transform dot position is greater than the engage distance. Do nothing. To assist us with visualizing um, where the target is in relation to our zombie, let's set up some debug lines so we can visually see where we are at targeting and attacking and engaging. On this step of it, if our zombie isn't doing anything because we're not within the engage distance, let's debug.draw a line. And we're going to draw a line again from a start and an end, which is still going to be our target dot position to this dot transform dot position and when you draw a line you have the option to set a colors so let's set that color to green again this is this check is just to show us a visual representation that hey we see our target so let's draw a green line to it so we have that nice little visual but if we are within the engage distance this is where we need to do all of our checks at so the first thing that we need to do, we need to get the direction of the target. So that direction is going to be a vector three. We'll call that direction. And our direction is going to be our target position. 
minus the this dot transform dot position. Here we're going to get the direction of the target. After we have the direction, then we need to see if we need to flip our character, our zombie sprite that is, to the left or to the right. We're going to do that using the math f sign. The math f sign is a math function that returns the value 1 when the f is positive or negative 1 when the f is negative. To do that, if math f dot sign, and here the float returns the sign of the float, is direction dot x is equal to negative 1, oops, negative 1, and not facing left. If we're not facing left, then we need to flip. So flip is a new function. Let's create that. So it's private void flip. And here we're going to flip the sprite just like we did the uh, robot controller. So if we're facing left, we're going to set that to not facing left. Then we're going to get the local scale by vector 3, the scale, and set that to transform dot local scale. Then we're going to flip it on its x axis, the scale dot x times equal negative 1. Finally, we're going to apply that to the local scale transform dot local scale is equal to the scale. So if we're not facing left, then we're going to face left. And then we're going to do the opposite check. Else if math sign math f dot sign direction x dot x is equal to 1 and not facing left then we need to flip this one this first check should be just facing left sorry about that so now that we're inside the engage distance and we have the direction of our target and we flip that direction Let's do, let's continue to check to see if that we're within the attack distance. So if our direction dot magnitude, magnitude is greater than or equal to our attack distance, then the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to debug dot draw line. And this is only available in the editor. It won't show up in your game. Target dot transform dot position. a pattern here this dot transform dot position and let's set this color to yellow kind of a caution okay so after we've drawn that line let's go ahead and check to see if we're facing left then we're going to attack in that direction this dot transform dot translate vector 3 dot left and so this vector 3 dot left it's really easy in the 2d uh, part of unity because there's a left right up and down once you get in a 3d it starts getting a little bit more complicated we're going to multiply that by the time dot delta time multiplied by our move speed and if we're not facing left Then we're going to attack in the opposite direction. So let's just copy that line down here and we're going to change this to a vector three dot right. The last thing that we need to check for to see if we're inside of the attack distance, if we are inside of the attack distance, then we're going to start um, causing damage. And to check if we're inside the attack distance, let's, if the direction dot magnitude is less than the attack distance, 
then the first thing we're going to do is the debug draw line from our target position transform position to this dot transform dot position and our color is going to be red because we're now in attack mode all right let's save that and let's go have a look at it, the progress so far go back to unity let this compile okay select the zombie and we have the health at 100 the target is going to be our robot our engage distance is 10 our attack distance is 3 and our move speed is 5 so let's zoom out a little bit and so you can see so let's go ahead and play this go ahead and mute the audio so right off the bat we do see that our zombie sees our robot we're debugging drawing a green line to him now if we move inside of the gauge distance that line should turn yellow so we made a mistake here instead of it being negative one we need to make it positive one and instead of negative instead of positive one we need to make this negative one on the flip let's go ahead and save that and go back all right so the engage green draw line is there again let's move a little closer it turns yellow and you can see that the zombie starts following us if we get a certain distance away he loses interest and stops following us let's try to jump over him and see if he flips perfect yep he flips you can see the draw line stayed the entire time closer and it's red and too close it should turn red and this is where he's attacking now up over him awesome all right that's pretty short and sweet let's go ahead and wrap that up there don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one till then